So the Hornets win the tip. Up top, Walker. He's guarded by Russell. And it's Walker penetrating. Lots of room. And Zeller with the lay-in. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Walker with it. Turned in an outstanding game against Atlanta. On the wing, Batum. Passes it to Zeller. Osgob on him. Feeds it to Lamb. Rebound the Lakers. This is their first chance this season playing Charlotte. And in a conference game here, just a two-game season series. Yeah, you know, you want to make every game count. Take care of business and give yourself a chance to sweep. Pass to Batum. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. And how about the bounce pass they are being used to perfection? Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, I spoke with the Lakers head coach. As far as key factors coming into this game, he said that defense is their focus, and he added our shot blocking really gives us that anchor inside and the foundation we need to be successful at that end of the floor. That's something we can count on, and of course, the rest of our defensive execution is just as important, if not more so. Kevin, it's always defense first. Thanks, Doris. So defense, it looks like, coming first for them today. That's their identity. That's what they're all about. Their defense is really what sparks them. And that has to be their spark if they're going to be successful. I mean, everything for them starts at the defensive end of the floor. Here is Russell, following the basket by Jeremy Lamb. Russell passes to Mozgov. Makes it off the glass. Mozgov's got his first bucket in this one. Four straight makes out of the gate. That's a sweet start. Walker dishes to Lamb. Off target from outside. Oh, man, you know he'd love to have that one over. Here's Ingram, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Reverse that one home. <laughs> now that was nice, real nice. The agility on this sport. Yeah, you <laughs> love that body control. How Ooh. about the power and grace on that finish? Now here's Zeller. 17 points for him last game against the Hawks in Atlanta. Williams covered by Nance. Williams kicks to Zeller. Just five on the clock. No good from Lamb. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. And he gets it to go. And that's now seven points for Lou Williams. Well, I tell you what, the post play has been rock solid right off the bat. It really has. And they've created a lot of high percentage shots in the paint here already. Here's Williams following the score by Lou Williams. Lamb with the ball. He's against Williams. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. Well, it was the Los Angeles Lakers winning their last game against Cleveland. And guys, they could have won that game on the strength of their offense alone. It was that good. And most impressive when you do it on the road like that. They just kept coming at them wave after wave. And they really kept the crowd on mute in that one. And just a nice bucket there to really just sustain that lead. Well, a few more possessions like that, and they'll do more than sustain the lead, Greg. I think they'll start to put this thing away by pulling it. And there are more points tacked on here to the early lead. And it's a nice lead as well. I mean, it's no mystery how they've done it. They're attacking. And gaining ground. And you know, for the Hornets, a lot to live up to this season. And really, they have come through. It can be hard on the team when the expectations are that high. Trust me. But it has not bothered them one bit. Greg, you know, I think it's really fueled their fire. They want to be the alpha dog. They love everybody hunting them down. Nance passes to Randall. Stolen by Walker. There's a minute 34 left here in the first quarter. And Kid Gilchrist kicks to Hawes. And he lays it straight in. You always hear about chemistry. That's a perfect example, knowing where each other is at all times. Marks and dishes to Randall. On the wing, Nance. He passes it to Clarkson. He feeds it to Randall. 
and count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. E.G. and Lee, and he's checked in for Nance. And it's Calderon in for Lou Williams. Now here's Sessions. Right now averaging about five points a game. Stolen by Clarkson. Here's E. Rips down the breakaway slam. And really, these teams don't even look like they belong on the same court today. I don't think they do, based on what we've seen. A double-digit lead, and we're still in the first. Ouch. That's painful. Hornets trail by 11. 43 seconds left here in the opening quarter. It's stolen by Calderon. He dishes it to Randall. Back to Dang. And again, it's the Lakers. Already seizing control of this game. Total control, Greg. And as well as they're playing at both ends, I look for this lead to get even larger. Here's Bellinelli. They double him with that. Bellinelli passes it to Kaminsky. He kicks it to Hawks. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Shot clock at five. Sessions. A fadeaway. Pretty right there. He's got such tremendous length. He can just rise up and get separation for the three. For three, corner up. That's for the Lakers. They've made the commitment to get out and run, and it's paid off with some highlight reel plays in transition. The other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've been able to convert off turnover. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Setting the floor for the Hornets. Michael Kidd Gilchrist out there with Kaminsky. Then there's Bellinelli, then it's Roy Hibbert, and it's Sessions in at the one spot. The Lakers have gone 0 for 1 at the line. This is their second trip to the line tonight. Hornets trail by 16. There's the dish to Hibbert. And yes, sir, that one drops. And something else you can't forget about is his shot blocking, Steve. I mean, he's an intimidator down low. Lertis passes to Young. He and Hibbert with the block. But they recover it. Calderon kicks to Young. And there's the pass to Lertis. Inside to Randall. Five on the clock. He. That's good. Oh, how about the floater there? Nice drop. And it's the Hornets with the ball. They trail by 16. Kid Gilchrist dishes to Sessions. A three. A shot by Bellinelli. No good. For Los Angeles, they've gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Young passes to Randall. He. The feed to Randall. He's against Hibbert. Pass to Huertas. Dishes it to Randall. That is good. What a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Here's Roberts. Back to Hibbert. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And here's a look at what's coming up for the Hornets. They'll be playing host to Chicago for their next game. And that game is the second of two straight at home. This is his first free throw of the game. And all you need to do is see his free throw percentage, guys. 90 for the season to know what kind of year he's having. And you know, with those numbers, he makes a defender hesitant to get too tight on him. I mean, he doesn't want to get whistled for the foul and put this guy on the line. Russell, he's checked in for Jose Calderon. Well, as far as the league's big men go, he's one of the very best at the foul line. Ingram passes to Young. And again, Los Angeles with a triple. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play the game like this. Lamb, good. Tit for tat right there, huh, guys? Didn't take them long at all, fellas, to get those three points back. Lertis passes to Young, takes it to Mozgov. Battles through traffic and lays it in. And the Lakers lead by 18. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Greg, the play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. 
And Lamb kicks to Roberts. Balls knocked loose. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. Here's Mozgov. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Yeah, how about the sharp steal and then run out? It looks like they're ready to put the hammer down. Well, we've been waiting for one of these teams, Greg, to pull away. Mm. Maybe that'll be a springboard for him. Could be. A dunk like that coming off a great defensive play has to build some momentum. Los Angeles making a switch here. Williams has checked in. Outside, Russell passes to Ingram. Feeds to Mozgov. Shot is blocked. But they get it back. Russell passes to Ingram. He dishes it to Mozgov. The kick out to Williams. Back to Mozgov. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. So Mozgov will go to the free throw line. It goes on Cody Zeller. Lakers shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And the season numbers for them at the line thus far are, are really poor. Something I'm sure they are making a point of emphasis. I think they've taken a major step in the wrong direction when you talk about their foul shooting, guys. I mean, they're not even close to what they shot last year. And it's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. And let's look now at which teams have been the hottest offensively for the past 10 games. In third, the Lakers. Yeah, what an impressive run for this club. Everybody seems to be in a rhythm in terms of scoring, and they are putting up some big numbers. Lakers on D. A 21-point lead, the biggest in the game. And Kid Gilchrist hits to Roberts. And it's the Hornets, another three. They're shooting the ball extremely well right now. They're looking at that three-point shot as a way to get some extra offense and really continue to fortify their momentum. Mozgov passes to Ingram. The kick out to Young. Lakers passing it around. Mozgov dishes to Williams. And he gets it to go. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Poked away and out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Over the last month, let's see how the Hornets performed, Kevin, in the NBA stats. Third and fewest turnovers per game. Eleventh in assist. And they're in the top half of the league in scoring as well. Not too shabby. Uh, you, they don't make many mistakes. I just love the mental toughness. You saw third fewest turnovers per game. Great decision making is so valuable, particularly down the stretch. Definitely a notch in their favor. Hey, Russell kicks to Young. Pass to Mozgov. Plays it in without an inch of room around him. Mozgov's got 13. I don't think they can ask much more of him than what he's done this quarter. And stolen by Williams. Goes up. Pushes it down to finish the break. With that reverse jam, the fans got a little extra show there. That one definitely had something you're right. Extra on it. Man, I, I got to pick my jaw up off the floor after that one, guys. Here's Roberts. He's guarded by Russell. Here's Lamb. Shot is off. And the Lakers take it the other way. When this game is done, they'll be off to Miami to take on the Heat. They're closing in on the end of this long, long road trip as that will be game six of seven straight away. 55 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. He feeds it to Roberts. He kicks it to Lamb. Inside to Zilla. Now the Lakers on the break. Williams is running. Williams with the block. An even three-on-three -three break. And, and really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Williams comes with a double team. Back to Kid Gilchrist. Shot to stop the run. Rebound by Williams. L.A. has gone 3-3 three three from three-point land here tonight. Mozgov passes to Ingram. Nance dishes to Mozgov. Outside, Williams shoots the three. 
And another three for the Lakers. And the Hornets with possession here. Batum attacking. What a play. Simply contribution so far in this one. Just a dominating performance in the post by him so far. Just tearing them to shreds when he gets it inside. Yeah, and getting it to him is the only hard part, fellas. I mean, once he has it, he's automatic. Forget about it. He can do work down there. Taking a look at Los Angeles. We've got Lewis Williams. Osgov is out there with Larry Nance. Then it's Russell. And it's Ingram. And it's the three. And it's good. Yeah, the drive to the bucket was great, but the finger roll was even better. Williams kicks to Nance. There's the dish to Russell. Back to Nance. On the wing, Williams. He passes to Ingram. Now Mozgov inside. The jump hook. That's good. Mozgov's got four this quarter. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Zeller passes to Lamb. And there's the feed to Walker. Dishes to Lamb. For the three, it's hauled in by Los Angeles. You know, so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle. And that's held true in this one so far. And Clark, their effort on the glass has given them the advantage, but it's also been the effort in general that's made a difference. Walker dishes to Zeller. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Here's Lamb. No good with the triple. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics. Well, at least as I look at him. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Walker against Russell. Rejected by Moskov. Good on the shot. Now, here is Russell. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Williams kicks to Nance. Russell. Again, the Lakers. I'm waiting for the fire alarm to go off the way they've come out blazing in the second half. That's five straight makes. Charlotte has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. You're good, Kevin. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Now the Lakers on the break. And that one's good. Ingram, he's got 12. Really not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. I mean, they've just given them too many looks inside. Yeah, and usually when a team goes on a run like this, it's because they are getting too many opportunities on the inside. Make them beat you from deep. Just lazy defense on the glass there. Well, nobody boxed out. Nobody put a body on anybody else. Things like that not only drive the coach crazy, that stuff gets under my skin. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Get through, get through, get through. E, the pass to Randall. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Here's Dang. Again, the Lakers. Playing smart offensively in the first half. No doubt about it. Yeah, the numbers support it. I mean, they're shooting the much better percentage from the field so far. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. And let's run down for you the top three-point shooting point guards in the league this season. You take a look at Clarkson. He's absolutely deadly from outside. And, of course, Jose Calderon. Charlotte making a switch here. Pause is checked in. Clarkson kicks to Dang. Now the pass to Randall. Fires it up. And blocked. Hornets have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Sessions dishes to Hawes. Sessions with it. Out of ended by Randall. And Jordan Clarkson is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Lou Williams has checked in for Jordan Clarkson. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Let's check out how the Lakers stacked up, Kevin, over the last month in the NBA statistics. 
First in assist. First in shooting percentage. And they're also number one in three-point shooting. This is a team that loves to cast up shots from behind the arc. Come get it, come get it. And how about that assist rate? Great chemistry offensively. Playing with one mind, if you will, all on the same page. That's special basketball we're witnessing here tonight. Charlotte has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Sessions passes to Kaminsky. Pass to Sessions. Kicks to Bellinelli. Feeds to Kaminsky. Lock at six. Good on the triple. Kaminsky's got six. That's a layup for him. He's just too open. The kick out to Williams. Passes it to Randall. Let's it go. Rejected by Hall. One thirty-seven left to play in the third. Tries to keep it alive. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. You look at the Lakers. Quite a season they've assembled here, guys. Perched up there in first place and playing terrific basketball, game in and game out. And, of course, the Clippers, just way behind. And I think for the Lakers, they had plenty of doubters before the season started, but I can't imagine there's anybody out there that's taking them lightly anymore. There better not be. I mean, if anybody still is doing that, they, they haven't been watching this group play. I mean, this is a dangerous team. Some changes for the Lakers. Mozgov, he's checked in for Julius Randle. Nance comes in for Gian Lynn. And it's Russell in for Jose Calderon. They double him with Russell. Here's Hawes. It's hauled in by Lou Aldang. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady with their work on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. This is what happens when he gets on a roll. I mean, you're not going to see a better rhythm shooter than this guy. And it's Walker penetrating. Williams outside. They get a bet. Here's Lamb. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Roy Hibbert's checked in for Charlotte. The kick out to Dang. Back to Williams. He had stolen by Lamb. And oh, here we go. Batum's got it. Galloping the fast break chance. Outside Williams. Misses the three. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. Yeah, you can see he's still in rhythm, even though he misses that one almost always deadly when he's that open. Cody Zeller's checked in for Nicholas Batum. Russell kicks to Dang. He dishes it to Mozgov. The kick out to Dang. Left side, Dang. And the shot is good. Tang's got six in the quarter. Oh, boy. Luau Dang. He's rolling. Dialed in offense. Here's Lamb. No good and tight defense there. Bother that shot. Passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. They've also been pounding it inside tonight and coming away with a lot of points in the paint. I call those PIPs. Ryan Roberts out there with Ramon Sessions. Then it's Kaminsky, then there's Bellinelli, and it's Hibbert in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. It's been about tempo and pace with this group, and it's led to a huge advantage in fast break points. Greg is really the main reason they're in front, all that early offense. I mean, when they've had the chance to push it, they've pushed it. Bellinelli gets the bucket. And guarding him on the perimeter isn't a priority for them right now, but if this continues, it will be. Randall dishes to E. Pass to Randall. Tipped away. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Here's a look at the schedule for the Los Angeles Lakers. They get to take on the heat at Miami after this one. And I'm sure they're anxious to get back home as that will be game six of this seven-game road trip. Lertis passes to Randall. Lakers passing it around. Five to shoot. And Young kicks to Yee. 
Clarkson. And a hand Los Angeles with the triple. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They've got to get more intense. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. He feeds it to Hibbert. Randall on him. E with the steal. Now Young inside. The finger roll finish at the bucket. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. The end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. And Young comes over to help. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. And the Hornets making a change here. Pause is checked in. Spencer! Pause! Set it up! Set it up! Just five to shoot. Kaminsky dishes to Hawes. And that one's good. He had his head on the swivel and was able to pick out the pass and get the assist. Los Angeles has gone along perfectly from three-point range. Tonight they've gone five for five. Here's Randall, and he banks in the layup. Julius Randall. The Hornets shooting well, 50% from the floor. Here's Bellinelli, the feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Bellinelli's got five points now this quarter. And that's almost automatic anytime he can get the ball in that position. Randall passes to Young. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. You know, one aspect of their play today that's really been tight and, and far superior is their passing. And that kind of flow can be elusive. But the great offenses have it. And that's just what they've shown here tonight. Luol Dang has checked in for Los Angeles. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Here's Hawes. And misses it off the right side of the rim. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it. But it's been good on a number of levels. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. And Roberts kicks to Sessions. The dish to Bellinelli. Kept alive. And that's a foul on Gian Leon. That is his first foul of the game. And, and you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Greg, those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. And the Hornets making a change here. Kid Gilchrist has checked in. He kicks it to Hawks. Knocked away. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. 17 seconds of the shot clock. 17. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Roberts dishes to Hibbert. The feed now to Kid Gilchrist. Here's Roberts. Get it, get a three-pointer, no good. Lakers have gotten absolutely red hot shooting the ball here in the fourth. A perfect six for six. And he jams it with authority. And, and chalk up a few more points for him there. This has been a one-sided game in just about every area. Absolutely. I echo that sentiment. Their offense, their defense. I mean, it's all been terrific. They need this. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And he knocks down the first one. And the Lakers making a change here. Calderon's checked in. And both free throws, good for Roy Hibbert. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Where's this passes to Dang? Dishes it to E. The kick out to Dang. He passes to E. Young, right side. Three-pointer, and again, it's the Lakers from deep. And that's the dagger right there, really the nail in the coffin. I'd agree. I mean, they've done a great job of sealing this one, closing it out, and they never backed off, even with the big lead. I love to see teams do that. 
And that'll be Charlotte as it goes out of bounds. Hornets retain possession. For Charlotte, they've gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. All alone. And again, the Hornets missing. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Where just passes to E. And here's the fast break. And Roberts kicks to Kid Gilchrist. Got a piece of it. And the pass to Roberts. Feeds it to Hawks. Takes a three. There's the bucket. Good. 40 seconds left in the fourth. Nick Young on the wing. Back to Calderon. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. A nice shot by Yee. Just look at how quickly the lead has grown here over the last few possessions. Clear case here, partner, of saving their best for last. Quite a run. Roberts dishes to Hibbert. Kicks it to Bellinelli. To the middle. Pause. He's guarded by Calderon. To the paint. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. And they're clearly finishing strong here, but not enough time to pull it out. Yeah, it does look like they're going to end on a high note. Um, too bad this run didn't develop sooner for them. And Young kicks to Calderon. To the inside. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. Roy Hibbert picks one up. And the Lakers making a change here. Here's Roberts. No good.